So this video is not a new makeup fashion style video. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit more about my type 1 because I know I kind of started a video series back um, in January. Kind of wanted to keep going uh, because I know something that's helped me get on track with my diabetes is watching other people on Instagram and social media um, talking to other people about it. Um, it's really helpful to discuss it or to just listen to people that are in the same situation as you or have similar issues and you can kind of compare and see how you can learn from their um, situations, you know, or how they deal with some of the issues that may come up with type 1. So in the last um, episode, <laughs> um, I talked a little bit about, it was back in January, so I was talking about how I was getting back on track. I had been in the ICU back in October, so next month it'll be a year since I was in the ICU and kind of was trying to get um, my health back. I was thinking about the pump, probably like for not anytime soon, like I was thinking maybe the pump once I am settled and have like my life together, I don't know what I was thinking, but um, I decided to get the pump because as I mentioned, like I saw so many people that had it and they were really inspiring and I saw how it wasn't limiting um, them in any way. It's not something that just because you have a medical device, you can't live your life as you'd like to. It's actually a lot better, in my opinion, because you don't have to stop every meal or every, you know, two hours or so just to check and then possibly give yourself an injection. It's just like, it's attached to you and it's awesome. Um, can't pull it up as high as I'd like to. It's attached to my arm right now, so it's like under my shirt and it's like... That's the only thing, it gets kind of tangled, but I don't really have many issues with my pump. I really do love my pump. I just got a clear one. You can get like different colored ones, which is pretty cool. Um, this is the older series. A new one came out last month or so. I was doing my training um, and the new one came out. So I actually called in last week so that they could add me to the waiting list so I could get the newer pump. If you have a Medtronic pump, you can also get the newer one if you call in to the 800 number, um, option 5 I believe, and then let them know that you want to be put on the list um, to receive the new pump. I don't know anything about pricing, any of that stuff. You would have to um, talk to them about that. Um, but. I've heard that it's better in terms of, you know, being more user friendly. Um, it doesn't, I mean, improve your numbers necessarily. It's not, um, it doesn't really do anything health wise. It's just a lot easier to use and it looks cooler actually. It almost looks like a, like a big iPod. Anyway, I had an appointment today with my endocrinologist. Um, and he said that I'm doing really, really well. Um, he even asked me, he's like, when did we meet again? And I was like, well, it was last October. Um, you came to see me in the ICU and you were like, come see me, um, in my office once you're out of the hospital. So I just let him know and my nutritionist eventually that I was, you know, not aware. I was aware of the illness. I just didn't want, I wanted to ignore it. Um, ignorance is bliss is what I always thought so I just thought maybe I'll be okay I mean I feel okay I've lost you know 70 pounds I'm I'm good um, so you know he said when I was in the ICU my a1c was like boom over 15 I don't even know how much like way over um, and in August it was at 7 right now it's around nine or ten I would say. Um, I'm still getting adjusted to the pump so they're still kind of moving numbers around and stuff so um, I'm getting there. But I mean that's a huge improvement from being like 15. I'm doing so much better and I'm really happy and um, I'm really glad that I don't have to be scared anymore I guess because I know that I have my um, doctor, my nutritionist, they're there to help me 
at all times. I have my pump. I feel really comfortable with it. And it's with me all the time. I can always call in the number and everybody's really nice. The only thing is the sensor. It's on my belly right now. Um, I, It's not that I've had issues with it. I have. But it's just it's kind of weird still. I'm getting used to it. Um, I broke the first um, starter that I had. Um, but like I said, they're really nice when you call in. They're really helpful, really supportive. Um, they'll walk you through everything. They know um, every piece of the pump, the sensor. They know every piece um, very well. So they don't, you know, they'll walk you through each step. It's really helpful. I think right now it's just um, an adjustment. I did tell my doctor, you know, I know that I've gained a lot of weight since um, I've gotten healthier, which sounds ironic. Um, I've become healthier, um, but I've also gained weight, which he says is normal um, because insulin can cause weight gain. I'm not blaming insulin on all of my weight gain. Um, it's me. It's all me. It's something that, that happens. So um, right now my goal is to... Um, get back on track now in terms of my overall health so that would mean my weight um, which has always been an issue but I know that I can totally you know I can do it so um, you know I've gotten this far so why stop now that's my next goal is to kind of eat better um, with type 1 you have to always watch your carbs but besides carbs you have to watch you know fat so calories all that so um, Hopefully in time, that'll help um, lower the amount of insulin that I take. So I'm really excited and happy for that because that's going to be a whole new adventure, which I'm sure will be lots of fun, and you guys will get to see all of that with me, um, hopefully. <laughs> um, anyway, I just wanted to do that little short um, like video about how I'm coping with all of it and how it's going. If you have any questions about the pump, about any of the insulin, I've taken um, a couple, pretty much anything regarding type 1, I will answer as best that I know. If I don't know the answer, obviously, I will um, tell you maybe you should go to your doctor and ask the name. Also, if you watched my last video where I showed you um, some of my recent makeup finds from the San Francisco Makeup Show, um, you'll know that I kind of started this little contest thingy. Um, if you watch and like the video, um, you can be entered for a chance to win an LA Girl product, which is the Matte Flat Velvet Lipstick um, in the Love Triangle color. That's awesome. That's, this is the color I'm wearing in that video. Um, if you have liked it, you'll be entered for a chance to win. This week, if you share this video, um, to try to raise awareness about type 1 diabetes, um, you will also be entered for a chance to win this lipstick. So, well not this one that I use obviously, but a brand new one for yourself. If you share this video, you'll be entered for a chance to win the lipstick. Um, if you guys have any questions, any comments, please let me know. I'm always open to that. Next video, um, you guys will find out who the winner is. Also, I wanted to do like a Q&A, so please send in um, any questions regarding basically anything that you may have. Um, send in any questions and I will answer them on the next video next week. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Be sure to like, be sure to share to win your lipstick, um, and have a great week. Bye.